Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 8th, 2021. And welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, the long awaited. I apologize for the long wait, but we're looking here the last 48 hours on the sun as we had a very active 48 hours, looking at about four active sunspots CMEs, solar flares, M class solar flare. Looking at the incoming imagery right now, lots of plasma whipping around. Plasma filament eruption on the incoming limb and as well, both sunspots very active in the southern region. I did release the video of the earlier CME that is directed right at Earth and will be will be expecting that within the next 36 hours. But a very active sun indeed. Many sunspots visible on the surface right now and organized sunspots at that looking at a plasma filament there falling back into the sun and then the m-class solar flare just earlier today looking at all of the sunspots top right hand side there that released the cme and then two very organized sunspot regions. And another one developing just south of that. You can see it in the last few frames there developing. Looking at 171 angstroms, the last 48 hours on the sun. And we did already see some space weather effects. We were instantly affected by, of course, the M-class solar flare. We did. We've seen an elevated wind speed, and we have no coronal holes really facing us. Southern region coronal hole diminished in the earth facing position. Solar X ray flux was up into the M class flare range. Geomagnetic activity is low for into the ninth, but it was elevated today slightly. Solar port proton flux has increased. And you can see the absorption map here. At about 1730 UTC time, large blast and then pulses, pulses all afternoon across the Pacific Ocean. And we had that large 7.4 downgraded to 7.1 earthquake in the last 24 hours, very sizable. Looking at a real-time solar wind, just about 400 kilometers per second, we saw it spike to about 435. Looking at Alaska 2 and 3, and you can tell when we've had an Earth-directed event, especially on Lasco images here, when you see all of the energy coming around the disk, the dark center region covering the sun. So that's gonna be quickly on its way to our planet. And we've already seen some effects already and as well, some unexpected space weather some people are talking about. There were no coronal holes or other space weather effects coming, but apparently they recorded something. Looking at ESWA, you can see the Earth directed event from earlier. I put out a small video, but you can see the little conjunction of all these planets coming in right now mars venus mercury stereo a very busy region parker solar probe just got blasted or will be blasted by this large directed corolla mass ejection looking at our schumann resonance for today a power of 17 you can see it kind of goes with our space weather effects. It's all energy. Power of 17, quality of a 6.3. Looking at earthquakes the last 24 hours, we'll start out here, of course, with that large earthquake in Mexico, Acapulco, New Mexico. At a 20 kilometer depth, originally came in as a 7.4 with USGS 
Also, Morales, 4.3 there. Minor earthquakes through Puerto Rico today. Aftershocks continuing through Mexico. As well, White City, New Mexico, seeing a sizable 4.2 earthquake. That's close to the Mojave Desert. And as well, Midland, Texas. Minor rumbles going through California. And as well, Nevada, seeing a 3.3 today. Warm River, Idaho, 3.2 and a 3.0. And as well, Stanley, Idaho, 2.9. Salmon Ridge, Salmon Mountains. Watch for something coming up there. Across the North American plate, seems to be picking up. Hawaii, seeing a 3.6 there today, largest in the region. Alaska, minor earthquakes through the region. One earthquake to report here in Russia, 4.9. Stari Kamchatsk. As well, Philippines, North Mariana Islands, that's the pagan volcano. Deep as well. One lonely earthquake there, Indonesia, and way too quiet here through the Kermadex and New Zealand. 5.3 5.3 earthquake reported here in Tajikistan at a 62 kilometer depth. As well, Greece seeing some action, a 4.3 and a 5.0, both 10 kilometer depth. Rare earthquake here to report Bosnia, 4.3 at 11 kilometer depth. Looking over South America, 4.1 there, Kalama, 141 kilometer depth. And as well, lots of action here, the West Chile rise. and as well a 5.4 through the region after a 4.6 south of the Easter Islands. So about five earthquakes east after that Easter Island earthquake. South Sandwich Islands seeing a minor rumble as well. Other than that, that is the last 24 hours. We'll have a quick look here at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. and We definitely did see an increase. And we might see a little break here as we leave the retrograde with Jupiter. If you haven't seen the planetary positioning report, please check it out. As well, we give an active and erupting volcanoes from across the planet. Increased action here into the Eurasian plate. Pretty quiet through the Atlantic. Mostly the East Pacific and Central regions, very active recently. And increased activity coming to North American Plate. Let's have a look at the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Brought to you by Disaster Center. Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Simaru, Indonesia. Fuego in Guatemala. Many fire alerts and storm alerts. Sabancaya in Peru. Senge in Ecuador. Semisnapochnoi. Karamiski, Ibu, Indonesia, Nevada, to Chilean. And as well, Pagan in the United States, Nevada, to Rules, and Popo. And Popo is just northeast of that large 7.1 earthquake that went off today. Also observing quite a few tropical storms across the planet. Hurricane Larry is heading straight towards the Newfoundland coast eastern Newfoundland might be joining forces with another tropical system in the Gulf. I mean, there is a tropical system in the Pacific as well. Olaf is going to be heading north-northwest through the Pacific as well. Tropical Storm Mindy just formed in the Gulf heading into the Mississippi and Florida border. Georgia. As well, through Ontario, we had quite a stormy night long wave of moisture here came from the north in this sticky hot weather and we had an eruption of storms two tornado touchdowns and as well lots of rain and lightning super typhoon chanthu is alive as a category four right now as well tropical storm Konsoon is going to be heading towards thailand and the super typhoon is going to be heading towards china Stay tuned for the long-range forecast coming right up. So you can see tsunami warnings did go out for Hawaii and as well the Alaska, B.C., U.S., West Coast. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and 
daily events worldwide, starting out here in home base, Ontario, Brantford, Ontario, as we've seen some pretty seasonable temperatures recently. Big stormy night last night, and we do have a few storms that may pop up tomorrow. But other than that, we won't see some rain until about Sunday into Monday. Quite possibly a couple waves of moisture coming from that big low pressure system heading through northern Ontario. And then a long line of moisture coming out of the states for the long range forecast into Ontario. And as well heating up in the south. Big low pressure system developing through Alberta. Heading northeastward into the Hudson and then as well an Alberta clipper forming in the long range forecast here going to bring some rain and some stormy weather towards Edmonton and snow in the foothills as things are going to be starting to cool off from west to east. Other than that, pretty dry across the United States, except for eastern regions, southeast and northeast, and as well the Gulf states with Tropical Storm Mindy. And then looking at here, Hurricane Larry is going to be heading straight towards Newfoundland, possibly joining forces with Mindy for a big superstorm heading towards Greenland and Iceland in the long-range forecast. Crazy forecast going on right now. But yeah, this eye of the storm will be heading through Newfoundland. So heads up, my Atlantic Canadian friends. Newfoundland has a pretty intense Hurricane Larry on its way, and lots of moisture associated. Snow heading into Quebec in the long-range forecast. Tropical storm Olaf there heading north-northwest. Not much moisture, but then another one developing in the five-day forecast here. Overlooking South America, no major weather developments since that big system has moved out of Argentina. Mostly daily evaporation rains and heavy rains moving out of coastal regions here through Buenos Aires. And then lots of snow heading towards southern, southern Argentina this week as three systems come through. Overlooking Europe, low pressure system over the United Kingdom. It's going to start cooling things off across Europe and heading northeastwards towards Finland. But then it's this big low pressure system that's going to be heading towards Spain that I'm a bit concerned about. Deep, lower level trough. Watch for strong surf and as well very high waves coming into Spain and parts of North Africa this week. Strong winds, high surf. Overlooking Russia, and parts of Turkey and into the Indies. No major weather systems. Overlooking Africa. No major weather systems there except for daily evaporation rains. But then we get into Southeast Asia and Northern Russia. Pretty big low pressure system here. Looks to be about three low pressure systems joining forces there. And then we have Changthu, who is going to be heading towards China. In the long range, will be centering out in Shanghai, ripping up the coastal regions of China. So stay aware and prepared, my Chinese friends from around the world. You have a super typhoon, Changthu, on your doorstep. And is already now a Category 4, most likely will be a Category 3 when it makes landfall. Big low pressure system here, Sea of Bengal, Indian Ocean heading westwards over India, and as well a low pressure system over Tunisia. But this is going to be a lot of rain this week, so heads up, watch for flash flooding across India this week. Other than that, no major weather systems through Indonesia, and as well, pretty quiet, but cool. 
through Australia. No major weather systems there. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean and Hawaii. Big high pressure ridge still hanging around over Hawaii and some interesting systems heading into the Alaskan Peninsula this week. So watch for an uptick in seismicity. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Northern Hemisphere and the very strange Hurricane Larry who is now heading into Greenland and Iceland. Look at this forecast heading straight northward towards Greenland. Lots of rain heading towards Iceland. Thanks for watching today. This has been The Daily Do. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Prayers for humanity. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.